About 8 kilometers from the Nairobi Central Business District lies the smoldering mountains of waste. This is the Dandora dump site. My name is Roy. I'm the man in charge of solid waste management in Nairobi County. Yeah, Dandora dump site has a long history. Actually, it started as a quarry. The people who are, who are collecting stones from those quarries I abandoned those quarries we used to use at a dam site way back in 1981. The quarry was about uh, 10 acres that time. The city generates around 4,000 tons of waste every day. Only less than 50% of this gets here. The remaining rot in the streets and open spaces. I am John Joroge. I am in Nairobi City County. Because I am here at dam site. Hakikisha mangali simefika kwa kwale mahali sinafaa kumwaga. Wakati ningia hapa hakukuwa na mangali mingi kwa hivyo dam site likuwa poa. Lakini sasa vile mangali meende kiongezeka na takataka pia na ongezeka dam site inaenda kama inanja. Kwa hivyo tunajaribu kungangana hata kama space ni ndogo tuna space mangali sinamwaga. Sina the site is believed to be the largest dumping and scavenging grounds in East Africa. It is a double edged sword providing a livelihood to some, while at the same time being a great health hazard. Solid waste uh, is having a lot of issues. There's the issue of uh, odor, there's the issue of skin disease. There's so many issues. Imagine I'm going to have a period of my life. I'm going to have a job here. I'm going to have a job here. I'm going to have a family. I'm going to have a job here. I'm going to have a job here. The waste here ranges from degradable to non-degradable materials. The dumping is done in a disorderly manner. Plastics, electronics, Food remains, rubber and metallic items are mixed with bloody medical remains and chemicals, making the waste dangerous. There are so many council clinics where our staff are treated free. We also have a medical scheme where the council is, uh, is paid for, the, the staff are paid for. From a distance, a fog of smoke and a heavy pageant smell welcomes you. People risk their lives from merging through this heap, oblivious of the staring danger. Nevertheless, this dump site forms a serene environment for naturally adapted creatures. The Nairobi River passes by the dump site, turning its water into a mixture of garbage and chemicals. Some people rely on this water for domestic purposes and irrigation. The danger is enormous. However, every day, thousands of slum dwellers echo living from the site. Chochote kile tunawakotanga hapa, tunaweza kuwa tunawakotanga hata chakula saa zingine. Saa zingine tunawakota vitu tunauza. People are made through the field in search of something valuable. Things like scrap metals, leather, clothing, wood, plastic and food are commonly sought. Materials collected are either sold to recycling companies or are kept for personal use. Kama makatons, wanapereka chadaria. Kama ni mifupa, wanausa. Kama ni machupa, wanausa. Chakura ya ngurue, pia wanadhora na wanausa. Scavenging depicts the survival for the fittest theory at its best. The strong always have their way, while the weak have to wait. Gun-toting criminals find a safe haven here, turning this into a hideout. Robberies, Rape and in extreme cases, murder are nothing new here. Uh, Dam side, there are so many issues. There are so many issues, and uh, I believe those uh, boys who are there are so busy getting one thing less a person. Yeah, they they are not concerned about that. I cannot rule out anything. Tandora Dam site has been operational since 1970. The original plan was to close it after 15 years. Forty years later. It is still existing. People in this neighborhood are still waiting for the day the waste and the dumping site will be professionally managed. What I say, I'm going to take a pesa. 
uh, but people people are just uh, try to ignore but waste is a resource for KTS I'm Kezia Mwende